another day, another head shaving, man. Whew. Do you know what just occurred to me there? Right? It's actual. We live in a fucking world now where shaving your head is just totally normal. Just every few weeks, just get a wee shave. Mad. What is happening? Welcome to the supplement show with RD Lifts. Now, supplements. Oh. Supplements. That's quite a big question I get asked all the time. What supplements do I take? What's the best ones? Where do I get them? How do I take them? All that shit. Right now, I'm not really a big proponent of like all sorts of supplements. Like, I really, really don't really take that much. I mean, half of these here I don't really take right now. Now, pretty much the point of this wee section is to pretty much highlight the sub the supplements that I would take. Right, not the subject, not the supplements that I'm currently taking. But if somebody asked me, what are the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? What are the top ten supplements that you would take? These would be among the top seven right now. There's probably a few more, but off the top of my head, I can't think. But these ones, these are going to pretty much, you know, do you good. So I've pretty much split this section up into like two groups here, okay? So we'll get like the gym stuff, like stuff you would take specifically for the gym. And then like over here, we've got like kind of lifestyle supplements right now. Um, we'll pretty much just start off with the obvious one. So here we've got creatine right now. Obviously we know, I spoke about this before, but creatine is pretty much, you know, one of the most researched supplements pretty much on the market, right? There's not been any more studies on a supplement than, you know, creatine specifically. So we pretty much know the benefits. That's pretty much just going to increase your strength. It's just going to make you a wee bit stronger. Um, there's pretty much no downsides to it. And I think they're even proven that it's just, it goes way beyond more than just a, you know, a fucking a gym supplement. Apparently it's really, really good for your brain. Cog like your cognition as well. So honestly, out of all of these, right, if you had to choose one, it would probably be this right here. Um, how to take it, I've spoken about this before, but just five grams per day, every day. What I've found with this is that you need to be really, really consistent. So every day, so five grams every day, non-stop. Um, if you miss out a few days, you're pretty much, you're not really getting the, the best benefit out of it. So five grams per day in total, every day. Now here, what I've got, this is whey protein, right? It's in this weird tub, but life tip. If you get your protein from like my protein bulk powders, you know those companies that sell it in like the fucking stupid bags? Find a big tub like this and then just empty it into that. That'll save you a lot less hassle than trying to, I just, I just hate those fucking bags. So here I've got whey protein. Now, I wouldn't even really consider this a supplement to be fair. This is just like, like food. Do you know what I mean? It's just another accessible way to get a serving of protein in. Um, you know, I've had a question like, would you prefer whole foods over whey? To be to be honest, I find myself consuming whey much more than like, you know, animal products, right? Obviously I eat chicken, eggs, prawns, all that good stuff. But to be honest, whatever you can get your protein in, if you're a vegetarian or whatever, if, you, if this is your only source, then fucking just crack on, do what you want. Don't let me tell you, mm, whole foods only. Obviously fucking, that'd be ideal, but you know, do what the fuck you want. <clears throat> Next up, we've got psyllium husk. Now, I first heard about this in a podcast. Um, I think it was the H3 podcast, but basically, do you know who, I think it's Chris, Chris Diella, is a weird, really weird last name. Basically, it's a fibre supplement. He was talking about it, and apparently it just helps you pass stools better. Um, so yeah, I don't really take it right now, but when you're dieting, apparently it's really, really helpful. Um, I've seen a few other people take it, and I recommend it. That's if you've got the money for it, of course. Next up, we have ashwagandha. Now, I've heard about ashwagandha for a while, but I've only literally just picked it up in the last two weeks. Um, pretty much, you know, it's, it's there's, there seems to be, it's one of these supplements where it seems to be, there's a whole host of benefits, right? But for the main one that I'm taking it for, is just to kind of put me into a more parasympathetic state. Now, if you don't know, we've got two, we've pretty much got two, like, switches in our, in, our, in our nervous system, right? We've got the sympathetic nervous system and we've got the parasympathetic nervous system, right? Now, in the sympathetic nervous system, that's like your, your fight or flight mode. That's where you're, ooh, that's where you're like in the gym, training hard, sweating, adrenaline, whatever, right? Now, that applies to all aspects of life. Whenever you're stressed, whenever you're anxious, whenever you're, you know, feeling really intense emotions, you will be in a sympathetic state. Now, the parasympathetic state, that's just the total opposite of what I just mentioned there. So that's more for your resting, relaxing, eating, digesting food, everything that's involved with, you know, just being chilled and comfortable, that's your, parath that's your parasympathetic state. So this here is mainly used just to, you know, further push that parasympathetic state. Now, obviously we know that we can't be totally parasympathetic, but imagine we've got a scale here. So parasympathetic, sympathetic, right? If we can get ourselves in that more parasympathetic 
scale as much as possible, then, you know, towards later on in the evening, when we're eating, sleeping, digesting food, assimilating nutrients, then that's where we pretty much want to be. Um, next up, we've got two products here. I've got CBD. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I've been a big, big, big fan of CBD. I've been taking it for nearly around two years now. Um, so yeah, anti-inflammatory really, really helps me switch off and just, again, get into that more parasympathetic state. Relax, chill out. Um, pretty much whenever I get injured, I'll just do, I'll just blast a load of this and that seems to clear me up, you know, relieve some inflammation and get pretty much get me back on back on track. This here, this is a what is this? This is a automizer, 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 automizer. It's an automizer automizer spray. Now pretty much you spray that on your tongue or you can vape it. Now or you can vape it as well. I actually prefer vaping it just because I like the, the kind of chill aspect of it. Um, so yeah, that's CBD. Next up, we've got magnesium. Right now, I actually meant to couple this up with another supplement, but I actually ran out and I don't have any. So the other supplement that I mentioned is probably 5-HTP. I'll put a wee... The 5-HTP and magnesium kind of work synergistically with each other. So 5-HTP, if you don't know, it kind of upregulates the production of like, you know, serotonin as well as melatonin as well. If you don't know, melatonin is like a... It's like a sleep hormone, something that we really want to be spiking towards the later ed, towards the later stages of the night, and coupled with magnesium, that's just a it's just a really really good combo for like a kind of pre bed supplement stack. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much everything I take. These, like I said, and there's a few others, you know, just off the top of my head that I've not mentioned here. Um, Five HTP, what else? Um, THC, can on well, I'm not really. Um, uh, can on. Um, I'm not really sure about whether I should talk about that or not. If you want me to, I will. But, you know, just to play it safe, I'm not gonna. So if you really, really want me to talk about THC or like cannabis or whatever, then, you know, let me know and I'll, I'll be sure to make a video on it or a post on Instagram or whatever. Just because I've been quite interested in that and there's not really much, you know, out there. So why not bring it to you? But that is pretty much that. That is all these supplements I take. You can pretty much pick these up anywhere, right? Amazon is a place. So Amazon, really really good for any of these and then these this is actually this is actually um from bulk powders i just reused the optimum nutrition packaging just because i like it better um again i hate those fucking bags man let's see try to open that and then pure your, your your fist is all powdery and it's like fucking you're heavy you just cut out a pure mess after using it i fucking hate them so these tubs yeah but that is that hope you've enjoyed that that's pretty much everything that i take and i'll see you later